The Quest 3 just took one of the best games on Quest 2 and made it mind-blowingly better. That's right, I'm talking about Into the Radius on the Quest 3. This side-by-side -side comparison was released recently, and I had to check it out to see if it was actually as big a deal as they made it look. I actually recorded all of today's footage in 4K to give you the best possible image I could. There's a little bit of stuttering here and there, but you can see the clarity and there was smooth, buttery frames inside of the headset. I also added in some atmospheric music for the first part of the video because for some reason I messed up the game audio in the recording, and I didn't want you to have to listen to me just breathing and talking. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. Look at the texture on the sleeve and on the glove. Like, I can actually see the grain. Look at that. I can see the grain of the glove. That's unbelievable. Even the lighting changes when you turn it. I really hope that you can see everything that I'm seeing and this recording is turning out the way that I hope it is. I've actually got this cranked up to 4K. I'm recording at 4K at 60 frames per second and this game looks this good. And I'm not losing any frames. Wow, look at the radius, it looks fantastic. Look at the draw distance. You can see off into the trees now. All right, welcome back to Into the Radius on the Quest. This is the Quest 3 version. Already you can see massive differences. Look at the light streaks. Look at the textures of the ground. Look at the shadows. This room already by itself looks fantastic. Everything looks better. Look out here, watch this. Look, you've got a nice draw distance. You can actually see off in the distance. You've got some shadows going on here. Not in this area for whatever reason. There isn't any real-time shadows, but once we get outside, there'll be real-time shadows and lighting. It's unbelievable. And I'll show you that in just a second. First though, everything has texture and pops. Even the gun models, look at this. You can really see the shine on the gun metal. This is our gun that we've got. You can see some nice lighting effects on it. We've got our backpack here. Knife, some magazines. Let's go outside and I'll show you what this game looks like and how it plays in the actual world of the game, not just in the home base. All right, so as you can see, there's actual shadows and texture on the ground. That's one big thing. And look at the atmospheric effects now. The fog, the ash, the trees look better. You can see texture and shadow on all the grounds. The radius looks better now. And watch this, look, turn around. Real-time shadows, actual real-time shadows that actually move with you. Isn't that fantastic? That is amazing. There's one of those things down there. Let's make sure our gun's not on safety. There we go. And we're gonna, we're gonna keep moving, but the shadows, the texture, everything about this game, it looks so much better. All right, let's kill this thing. Take this thing out very carefully. Oh crap, I'm not hitting the broadside of a barn. There we go. It's easier to get up close and to shoot those things because if you don't shoot them, they'll respawn. What's that over there? Man, this game, I, this is unbelievable. Honestly, ooh, buckshot, nice. Now we need to find a shotgun. This game looks fantastic. I, it blows my mind just seeing it. All right, let's break this thing because this will give us a story piece. We'll reload this sucker. We got some more magazines in here. I just want to make sure that we're all reloaded and ready to go. We should have a bullet in the chamber. Let's make sure we do. Okay, good. All right, let's keep moving. Let's see where we're going first. We're headed here. Man, alive, I just can't even get over how good the radius looks now. This is a true survival game. If you haven't played this yet, this is a real survival game. We're almost at our goal anyways, so we're just gonna keep our eyes open here. There's the broken watch we're looking for. What's this, candy bar? Let's eat our candy bar. Yay, we got what we needed, we got what we came for. <laughs> I still blow it away by this. Like, I don't know, I don't even know what to say. Everything looks so much better and crisper and clearer. The frame rate is unbelievably smooth. I actually had some frame rate issues when I first played this game. I didn't really notice it first, just because I was so excited to play it. But then after a while I started to notice it. I don't see, ooh, sorry. Don't wanna lose my health, but th this, this is fantastic. All right, we made it back to base. Let's reorganize and then we're gonna go out in the dark. And I wanna show you the nighttime if I can get that working. All right, it's now nighttime, which again, looks fantastic. We got our flashlight with us this time. So we're gonna make sure when we go into the radius, we get a flashlight. We're gonna go out in the dark. This is mostly to show you the lighting and how things look. Wow, that's really dark. All right, we don't have a mission, we're just going into the radius. Let's do this. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> this is my first time outside at night in this new update. Wow, this 
is fantastically terrifying. <laughs> Let's get our flashlight out here. Look at that. That looks really good. That looks really good. Let's uh, keep our flashlight off right now. Let's turn the backlight on, on our watch, and on our, where is it? There it is. Wow, that looks really cool too. Look at that. All right, we're gonna keep our gun out. Just wanna make sure that it's not, look at the shine on that gun. It's not in safety. Okay, that's not in safety. We're gonna keep our gun and our flashlight out. Watch this, you can actually flip your flashlight over so you can actually kind of tactically move around. But we're gonna keep our flashlight off right now because we can see a little bit. Look at that radius, it looks fantastic. We're just gonna explore a little bit, probably die, you know? It doesn't seem to be dynamic shadows with the flashlight. But the world itself has dynamic shadows. So like, I don't think... But it's still darn impressive. Those things, I think. Here, let's put this away. Let's check this room out. I think we can go in here. Can we? No, I guess not. Anything over here? Toilet paper. And some canned food, shotgun shell. Freaking creepy here. You use uh, toilet paper actually to clean your gun. So we kind of want to keep that. Oop, there's that girl right there. Creepy out here at night. I kind of want to come out at dusk to see what the dusk light looks like too. In fact, let's go do that. Let's come back here at dusk. I just want to see, or dawn maybe. Let's do dawn. I'm curious to see what it looks like with different lighting. Look at the texture though on the ground. It looks fantastic. All right, we're gonna head back. The goal of this video wasn't to showcase the, a large portion of the game, it was actually to showcase the updates and how much better it looks. Man, I can't get out of the shadow. And it definitely looks much better. I love that. The lighting in this just opened and looked really, really good. Let's uh, go to sleep and we're just gonna wake up. Oh, by the way, you can play the guitar. Let's get this pick here. Oops. That up. See? There we go. <laughs> you can play the guitar, which is pretty cool. All right, I just dropped it. All right, let's let's uh, let's do some sleepy time here. Uh, we'll wake up in the early morning. Let's actually wake up. Well, sun's starting to go up at 7, it says. Let's go to sleep. All right, it's 7 a.m. The sun's supposed to be starting to come up. Well, there really is no sun. Well, look at the stars. I hadn't noticed that before. That looks really cool, actually. Let's go out into the uh, radius area and we'll see. Active what this mission looks like. is not confirmed. Yes, I know that. We'll see if it looks any different or if it's the same as nighttime. Okay. Similar. I think it's a little bit lighter than it was. In fact, I know it's a little bit lighter than it was. What time is the uh, the tide coming? We have five days until the tide comes. Okay. All right. Let's keep moving. We don't want to get caught in the tide. In five days, so I don't have to worry about that very much. So I didn't really change much for the lighting, just a little bit. That radius there is unbelievably crisp and clear. It looks so good. It definitely looks lighter, actually, now that I think about it. It's considerably lighter than it was at night, I think. Maybe it's just my eyes adjusting to the fact that it's darker. I don't think so, though. Those are anomalies there, or whatever they're called. Are they call anomalies. I can't remember. Let's just touch this girl over here. A blog there we go. Post was part of the Soviet Army's attempt to take control of the situation in the first days following the event. Look at the shadows. Look those pieces on the ground. You see them? They have been <laughs> for war. What happens if I throw this up in the air? War. Whoa! Couldn't have expected something like this. Did you see that? Okay, watch this. This is cool. Up. Catch it. But look, look at the shadow. That is cool. It even does it when you throw stuff. That is so cool. I don't want to lose my gun. Where did it go? Right there. That was, that's just really cool how they've done that. Well, I think that's about it. That should give you a good idea of the quality of this game. There's other areas of this game that will take me a bit to get to that would showcase how much different things look and the fog and some other types of locations. Uh, hold on, I'm breathing heavy. This leads to the different areas. See these different areas. But I hope that gives you a good idea Again, let's pop onto screen now what Quest 1 looked like, and now Quest 2. There you go. It, it's a massive difference. 
there you go. There he is into the radius on the Quest 3. What do you think? I think it is amazing. I love this power boost the Quest 3 is giving us and how it allows for dynamic shadows and lighting effects and higher resolution, better textures. It's pretty crazy, don't you think? Let me know down below what your thoughts are, though. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all things Quest. Thank you so much for watching and happy questing.